everyone and welcome to the Kwaba Talk Show. My name is Eleanor and I'm joined here today with two beautiful ladies who are going to introduce themselves. Hello, my name is Daisy. And my name is Irina. And we are going to discuss all things Ghana. So let's get right into it. At World Remit, we understand what the journey is about, how it can sometimes take a little distance to bring us a little closer together. With ways to save more when you send more, World Remit is here for you, so you can be there for them. So first on our topics today is, should we enjoy Ghanaian events in the UK a bit more or are we not really into it? What are our thoughts, guys? Ghana events in the UK. Personally, I love it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here for it. When I see, like, last year, for example, I went to a live band event, um, and even during lockdown, there was, there's um, Ghana back-to-back, -back, so I don't know if you've heard oh, yeah. of NS10 v10. Mm -hmm. So a couple DJs made, like, a, um, a Ghanaian version of mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. and every Friday they do, like, a session called yeah. Anadjo, like, it's, it's just it's great. the best thing. I'll be in my room with my drink and Just my wine I put my heels on. <laughs> I can't wait till lockdown's over because I know them, them ones, I'm, I love it. Yeah. I love it. I feel you. <laughs> I definitely um, watched GH Back to Back and I've yeah. even been able to go to a few sessions. Oh, really? It's lit. Big up everyone that GH Back to Back. Yeah, man. They're doing a really good thing. I think with lockdown happening where we can't actually yeah. go to events, yeah. they've done really well to kind of harness the Ghanaian yeah, culture definitely. and, you know, every Tuesday, every Friday, they've yeah. got back to back sessions good music, good vibes, Definitely. lots of jokes, and it's kind of just nice to be in the comments of yeah. all your fellow Ghanaians. We can't really like, see you guys. DJs, the, the, um, the caretakers come in. <laughs> literally, literally, yes. all the little jokes and stuff that we all, yeah. the little banter is nice to have because we can't actually be with each other during the time, exactly. but Ghanaian events generally is the same sort of vibe mm -hmm. that we can catch in the comments. I don't see that. I don't see anyone else doing that kind of yeah. thing as well. No, so I think true. that just shows like how together we are yeah. and that like, the events bring us like hall parties like yeah. that's our thing we love a hall party oh now everyone loves it even more now yeah everyone's looking forward to it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but yeah i love all things Ghanaian. yeah like Ghanaian parties mm -hmm. i'm one of those that when we go to parties i'm not saying now yeah i'm Always. with the auntie in the middle yeah. <laughs> dancing and shaking body auntie you want to dance okay yeah. <laughs> like every, it's just it's pride yeah it's just, it's just beautiful yeah. it's just home mm -hmm. and covid has allowed people to enjoy it even more mm -hmm. like to value these things that yeah. we normally take for granted because 100%. why am i following my mom to party yeah now it's like i can't wait it's mommy what, what's the next party what's the after next covid one? i know right it's, <laughs> it's like, definitely the change exactly. as we got older yeah. so even like, now boxing we, day mm -hmm. oh, sorry do you know? no 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 <laughs> i was like, even boxing thing in mk they've got loads of um meetings like associations mm -hmm. like yeah. the Malco, the gentleman's club or that yeah. when you're younger and they go like oh we're going and then they come back with meat pie you don't bother to go yeah. but this time i followed my mom at first it was kind of dead but then yeah. The DJ came and then me and my girl will dance to the 80s music. Like, yeah. I don't know, we've become those exactly. aunties like, the 80s music. Exactly. Like, it's, it's just, yeah. Exactly. Like, we were fully growing up. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, and it's, it, it's so rewarding that we're taking on that role. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. our parents, if they looked at us back in the day, they would have been like, wait. He's gonna grow up and he or she is gonna grow up and not love Ghana yeah. anymore. Yeah, but boring. now when they see us, they're like, oh, <laughs> Pagana, sir, oh. Pagana, sir. I see, I see aunties, they get so excited when they see their children into Ghanaian stuff. They're yeah. like, oh, she's oh, so proud. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, oh, but you're the <laughs> girl, no, what the girl. I was like, oh, okay. breathe, I <laughs> breathe, okay, we yeah. are Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. But it's so nice. It, it just, Ghana as a community, Ghanaians as a community, we're very tight, yeah. we're very close. And although sometimes we might disagree on stuff, we're always united. Mm -hmm. We're always united. One thing I always say, obviously politics, um, the, we're going to vote this year. Mm -hmm. One thing I always say is, Ghanaians, every time it comes to voting, everyone will be like, eh, me and Pew, I know the, hey, this voting day will be bad. Yeah. Don't go out. Yeah. But the same people that are saying that, yeah, I'm going to fight, are the same people that are in the house telling you, don't leave the yeah. house. So like, we're like that. Although mm. people might think we're timid and mm. we're afraid, it's not that. It's just, we have too much to hold, mm. to lose to something so trivial. Okay. And that's why we just love, that's why we're close-knit. Yeah. yeah. That's why we're a close-knit community. Yeah. Now, and these parties just, 
enforce it yeah, even more. Yeah, true. Yeah. It just yeah. It adds lightness. I, I feel you. I'm very Ghanaian. I feel you. In the bone. Do you guys feel like um event groups like a Quabo, for example, that have done multiple events. I mm. mean, we are all Miss Ghana UK veterans. We've yeah. all done it in the past. <laughs> but we've also been to party in the park, Ghana exactly. Independence. What do you guys think, like, the impact of having an event that a Quabo runs like those? What do you think that does for us? It, I, first time I wanted to, well, when I was growing up, I saw the Miss Ghana people mm. at Party in the Park. Mm. And I saw it and I was like, I want to do that. Yeah. It just enforces your culture even more yeah. it makes you love it even more like I when do. you see other people just joining in with you mm. like you feel like you're not laughed at yeah obviously growing up the reason why so many people didn't speak to you growing up mm. is because you're you're gonna get laughed at yeah what kind of language is that <laughs> oh my god this sounds like chinese <laughs> then you feel embarrassed it's just human nature you feel embarrassed but when yeah. you're in places like that it's like no one's gonna judge me exactly everyone looks like me and exactly it's, it's really nice to have us all look the same and exactly. be the same and know the songs and know yeah. the dances. Yeah. And yeah. by doing those things that I feel like Ghanaians paved the way for all these events that Nigerians are now doing. Okay. True. <laughs> Somebody should come and fight me. Okay? <laughs> I'm in my house. Okay. I'm, I'm not even from London. Like, I'm not from London, so I wasn't too like when we when we did Miss Ghana, we did it yeah. like in two thousand sixteen. Yeah. That was the first time I went to Ghana party in the park. Really? But we had like a thing in MK called Meet Me There. Oh yeah. No, but we that's how it that. started. Yeah, we used to have Meet Me There. That's how it started. Okay. It was Meet Me There. there. Well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It was Meet Me There. So I, did, I only went to one of those. I only went once to that as well. Mm. But I always, I already, I always knew about it. But I just never mm. went because my sisters, I don't think they went. I don't think they went. I don't know. But yeah. I used to like, I want to go. Like I used to love going to whole parties. My sister used to have like birthday parties in the hall because we came from Amsterdam. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And Dutch people like to party. Like that's our thing. Like. There's always an event going on. Yeah. There was a specific hall that if you hear the parties there, you know it's about to pop. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, and we'd have house parties in Amsterdam as well. Mm -hmm. Everyone knows Amsterdam's like Ghana and Central. So yeah. coming here, the event just continued. We'd yeah. go out to like, oh, I'm just having a barbecue. Mm -hmm. It's just us lot together. So we wasn't so much um, sit down events but until I went to uni and there was mm -hmm. Viva. Yeah. Um, and I'm seeing, okay, the all white parties and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. But now, now I'm easing myself into it. And I'm like, I really, yeah. I really like this. This is like natural to me. Yeah. You know, my grandma's at every event in Amsterdam. Yeah. You see her in the pictures. You see her <laughs> yeah. YouTube. Somebody's married. She's there. Oh, why not? You can see her in the audience. This one was everywhere. <laughs> I want to be like her. She always tells me, do you and me? Yeah. You, ah, you have to. Take your eyes. <laughs> that is Get your eyes. That's it. No, but it, no, but the thing is, it's therapeutic as well. Yeah. Maybe we don't even notice those parts. Yeah. Like our parents going to funerals every weekend. Every yeah. weekend Celebration of life. But it's, mm -hmm. it's just, meeting people that you otherwise wouldn't see yeah. very social people. exactly yeah. and it's really nice it's, it's the, the community. whole community yeah. part mm -hmm. because you wouldn't see them it's you like, wouldn't oh, okay the coconut is part of it but it is part of the community <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it's part of it yeah and it's, it's nice just seeing everyone and just being with everyone sometimes yes we want to be bougie and be like oh, I don't want to go to the same thing over and over, and over, and over. again. Yeah. I don't want to see the same faces. Yeah. But when you end up there, you're like, oh, yeah. it's a good time. Yeah, so they really play one to a very person. Exactly. Everyone starts moving. Oh, yeah. okay. It's all lumber. Okay. <laughs> so Let me just enjoy everyone. my own. Yeah. Growing up, I remember, because I was very Ghanaian, yeah. um, people would be like, oh, Daisy, you're such a fob. You're so uh, fresh. Yeah. The same that. people are like, oh, my God, Daisy, what's the next Ghanaian? Yeah. Like, oh, you're not invited. Yep. I got that. You're not invited. I definitely got you're that. You're not mm. invited. Yeah. yeah. Like, you're so fresh. You're Just because so I was fresh. so proud mm. and so like, I'm Ghanaian. Like, you Ghana, need to know. Exactly. Oh, you're such a freshie. such a bob. I had never been to Ghana there. Or I had been <laughs> once. But I'm a freshie. I'm like, I don't care if I'm a freshie. That's cool to me because I'm it. proud to be no, Ghanaian. That is what we need to pass on to our kids. Exactly. Like, you hadn't even been yet, but you were so proud, proud of it. I was exactly. as well. Like, I, mm. Before I even went, I was repping Ghana like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, exactly. Ghana yeah. And what? What? <laughs> Say it again. You're gonna need. Me, you're gonna need. Me, you're gonna need. Well, you're gonna need. Yeah. <laughs> me, you're gonna need. I'm well, yeah. I love yeah. that. I love that. I no. feel you. I feel like we are just naturally very patriotic. Like, yeah. Ghanaians, we, it's like we're born just knowing we're Ghanaian and that's lit. And I think that has, like, you're right, it's spilled over into other cultures because mm -hmm. Nigerians, um, we're very similar in terms of, you know, we're both colonised with English people. Yeah. A lot of us are here in the UK. Mm -hmm. And we're quite prideful when it comes to our countries, but I feel like Ghanaians, we rep our country even through the, the good and the bad. Exactly. Like, there's never been a time where just like, I'm not, I'm not Ghanaian, you're trying to downplay it. Because being Ghanaian is really like... It's all part of it. Even when the, the penalty, we still rep We claimed him. 
We, we cried with it. him. Yeah. We cried. Me, I definitely <laughs> cried. I was young and I cried. Oh, no, I, I just sat there and looked at that. I was, like, I was more like, okay, <laughs> next year is there. No, I was, it pained me so much, guys. I said, let me see what Snyder's doing in Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> then, 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 then they lost to Spain. I always I said, say, okay, I'm missionless. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't claim here. In the football. The, the, How can you claim the UK home. when it comes to world football? It's coming home. Yeah. England is not coming anywhere. Since 1966, that doesn't come anywhere. Please, this country, anywhere. there are too much bad vibes for them to get and anyone then, to come home. The queen, the queen watches like well. I need her to <laughs> take me to my country. The so queen if you're watches like this, well. charter me a flight. <laughs> <laughs> okay? No, but this but, is it. Like, it's just, Guardians, we make something out of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Like, just... You know how people say, oh, how African people find joy in everything? Mm. That's true. We we're do. Just, we're just joyful We've creatures. All come here. So our small, small community, the small Ghanaians that live in Broadwater Farm, they've done whole parties and that now is so well known that every Ghanaian is about Broadwater Farm. You know about going to South for parties. Exactly. You just, like, we're just known for either going to funerals, weddings, birthdays. Every day there's a party. There's always yeah. something. And it's just good to have that community or a church as well. Yeah, our church is really, exactly. into, you know, put that into us. I know Pentecost is a very Ghanaian church. Mm. I met a lot of Ghanaians going to that church, growing up in that church. Yeah. So it's nice to have like, you know, that community. Ghanaian it's events happy. in the UK they really help us harness our Ghanaian yeah. because if not for that, you're kind of just you're yeah. by yourself. Yeah. And yeah. it teaches yeah. the people that don't know Ghana about yes. Ghana. Mm -hmm. Like, when the, they see the, even, say... even the praises songs, like mm -hmm. when you go to Viva Hall party, mm -hmm. like one friend of mine, Eleanor, <laughs> she was leading the Jaman, the praises, the all of that at a whole party. You wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know these things. <laughs> yeah. on, like, you, you would think it's just churchy, churchy, yeah. but. It can be taken everywhere. Yeah, like, yeah, honestly. We just embrace the whole... We do. The whole country as a whole. I agree. And to be honest, everyone can attest yeah. that God is a peaceful place. Mm. It's just something about it. Mm. I always say, if I was born somewhere else, maybe I would have been very sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down here. Okay. Yeah. No, like, honestly. I'm, like... Obviously, I'm mixed race, so I have yes. best of the yes. different cultures, okay? <laughs> Ghanaian mixed race. <laughs> Ghana mix. Okay, you know, I have Ghana, I have Ghanaian. Yeah. You know! Yeah. Are you mixed race? Yeah. I know. You I see it. Know. <laughs> it's just amazing. Yeah. Like, I feel you. And I feel like that energy has passed on to the younger ones because, like you said, Viva is literally young Ghanaian. And exactly. I know they have some Nigerian people in it too, but mm. the first ever Viva was a Ghanaian Independence Day, and that's why I started. Exactly. And it's literally just young Ghanaian guys coming together and thinking, Independence Day, we're all in uni, let let's me throw a motive and exactly. let's see. Yeah. And people from all over England came to it. Mm -hmm. So they thought that we need to get bigger. Literally. And each year we just watched them get bigger and bigger. And they exactly. even joined up with a for exactly. one year, which was nice to see that the older Adults, generation of exactly. Guardians were able to see the younger generation yeah. kind of like yeah. back each other. So it's great that we have those events and we're able yeah. to push our vibes because yeah. it just gets bigger and better. And you know, you never know, yeah. maybe Viva and Ghana one day. Maybe oh, even, oh yeah, definitely. Look, listen, even what, Day Talks? They day Talks, yeah. DLT. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, DLT in Ghana. Yeah. I haven't been even here, let alone Ghana. Like, they're, they're definitely like seeing us. They, they're seeing. Ghana in December, that is like yeah. a big, the fact that we was in a, was it, um, Oh, top three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah. No, but I don't, I, I don't really like that, you know. I feel like I everyone know. needs to come and be, in my in your space like no that. i feel you because i felt like that yeah. because like, there were so many okay. people I was stay in your house I I feel leave my proud. country for me leave my country <laughs> i was <laughs> proud just that it was my country that everyone is now seeing it i'm yeah. like yeah that's my country yeah. is your country being visited no, no. no, no. i'm but proud but don't go like, uh -huh. but then i was like don't come and cause traffic ah that's Please. all they did i haven't even been traffic. there yet but oh, yeah. don't come and cause traffic don't ah. litter on my ground i haven't yeah. been there but don't litter on my ground i feel you don't eat my food no, like, i really just get you guys come to my house but stay outside yeah <laughs> yeah there's something so bad about it when you come <laughs> exactly but they never do you know that's one thing they never do they Especially yeah. last year, so obviously every year I've seen the increase of people go every mm. December, and last year hit its ultimate peak because we had Afro Nation there yeah. on top of yeah. everything, everything else that goes on yeah. Ghana anyway. So there were so many people, and even like my Nigerian friends that came to Ghana for the first time were like, mm. "Wow, like Ghana is nothing like Nigeria. Yeah, like, the way you can just be so place. free. Like in Nigeria, you can't get into any cab anyhow because yeah. you're just not safe. But Ghana, you never feel like you're safely jeopardized. Yeah. No. Like you just feel comfortable, and it's just very free and very welcoming. Yeah. And it's they wouldn't nice come that if, it, if it they wasn't, wouldn't. Exactly. If it wasn't safe, you're exactly. right. Exactly. So I just, I but love still how don't come. 
They, no, they have to come because we need the money. Because yeah. the money that they bring in for come back go. Ghana made so much money for this year of return that they have to do it that again. That was a good. That was a good. That was a good concept. concept. Yeah. It was very good. Was. I I was like, okay, yeah, return back. So go back. Vote home. for Nana because he hey, knows hey, what he's hey. doing. We have to vote we are for not Nana. Political. We, are. Yeah. we are not being political. We are being neutral. Very MPP. Very okay. MPP. Are you saying that? Okay. How do we feel about politics in Ghana? Politics in Ghana, like here, I think it's more straight cut. Like we know who is for us and who is not for us. No that kind of thing. No, we got people that want to vote Tory. No, that that's that's <laughs> that's the ones you know. But then they 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 might think that they are for no, us. No, but it's it's more clear cut here. Whereas in Ghana, I feel like. It sounds the same. It's the it's, same. It's a two party system. It's, it's two, a parliamentary it's two party system. system but um, I feel like. Ghanaians with politics, they follow it based on it's like Ashanti. Mm. Oh, Ashanti, oh, yes. and if you're Ashanti, you have to follow MPP or NDC. It's like very strict and it's very clear cut. It's but it's the like, same. no, but politics needs to be more about what the person has to bring to the table. Or I think what she means like in, in terms of your reason for support. Yes, yeah, like support it based. Yes, yeah, support it based on the reasons, the not just because. No, but here's like that as well. I I no, but that's, no, but I that's the reason people, why. Yeah, I voted Tory because, and they were saying Labour policies. I voted Tory, but you voted the wrong people. Exactly. That's why I'm <laughs> saying that with here, when you're voting, it's more clear cut. We know conservatives are for the white people. The ha um, what's called middle class white people, whereas the um, Labour looks for the migrants that ground. yeah do you get what i mean so it's Working more clear cut class. like who's for us <laughs> okay. but do you know what yeah I, and I recently learned this is that for a lot of Ghanaians in ghana mm -hmm. to them mpp is equivalent to the conservative tory go government to to Ghanaians. so and i clocked it in the way that the way our president's relationship is with the Tories, like him and Boris, that friendship is a bit too much for me. He's and I beat with it. Boris. He's, of course, I mean, as the president, you do have to be friends with he's other countries. He's not friends with him. He's but cordial. He's cordial. Yeah, but okay. when I heard that, when I heard that for Ghanaians in Ghana, MPP seems like the conservative conservative choice, I started to think, it makes oh. sense. I can't uh -huh. lie to you. When I was, went to the summit in Ghana in um, March, it does make sense because they are very much... I think it's infrastructure based and mm. fixing things from the inside mm. out, from like the foundations mm -hmm. of Ghana out. Whereas Which I think, think maybe good. NDC is like trying to do things where the people are involved mm. from the on the ground mm. and then backwards kind mm. of thing, no. which is why... I think, I think in regards to that, I think the reason why they're thinking like that, but don't compare it to conservatives, mm. don't compare. <laughs> I don't like, but. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think the reason why they're thinking about it from inside out is because the out, the bottom up has not worked. Mm. So you need to think of a different approach. You get what I mean? It's like, okay, has it worked? Has, okay. But that's the bottom up is what got us out into independence. Yeah, but that was then. Exactly. Times have changed. Change. You know what I mean? And I feel times like have changed. hasn't moved for the times. Times and what have changed. Okay. Adapt to fix. Like, that's why the, um, what's it called, back, um, your friend is saying, um, the year of return, if you did it years ago, it wouldn't have worked yeah. as much. Do you because get what I mean? nothing to come to. Be exactly. Ghana but now things is. have changed, and year of return made more sense, mm -hmm. because it was like, oh, didn't okay. didn't change under his... Not under the sea. Like absolutely. No, no, I mean under... No, no, uh, yes, absolutely. And that's why I was able to do something yeah. like return. And that's why I feel like voting for him makes the most sense, because when I read his policies, like, let's strip everything else aside. No, who has brought free um, secondary school education to Ghana? Nobody. Who has then decided to invest in um, what's it? One district, one factory. One, yeah, that's common like, sense. Going going that's money. The ground, make it yeah, the make, roots, going yeah. back to the roots. Bring so, money. Keep the money in the country. In, basically. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, they really, really push for you know, um, Ghanaians should export things out, and you guys yeah. should get to manufacturing and get into. Yeah. And I just feel like their policies make a lot more sense for a futuristic Ghana. So even though to some Ghanaians right, it no, may seem a like a conservative party. It's not like the, the English Conservative Party. Yeah, They're no. not out here. The Conservatives would never give free and that's education. What I'm saying. Don't if compare it. Was a choice. Yeah. Don't it's compare true. It. You can't compare it. But obviously, it's in, a sense, in perspective, it's economically yes. Thinking. If you yeah. think economically, it is the same. Because when you think mm -hmm. about it, on paper, Conservatives know they don't really care about the now, right now. Mm. They see things ahead, mm. right? And so when I was reading the two, I used to think to myself, okay, Labour's thing is really great for us now, but where are they getting the money from? Yeah. Conservatives, on the other hand, I don't, I don't have anything, because I can't vote, I don't always delve too much into mm. it. But from what I understand is conservatives think far, and they mm. think economically, 
Um, whereas Labour's like, let's fix what we've got, where the issues are right now kind of thing. Mm. But then that might leave us in a, in a sort of a deficit at some point kind of thing. Mm. And it's finding the gap. And I think that's what Ghana has done. Mm -hmm. They've bridged the gap. They're looking at the, pe the people on the ground now. Mm -hmm. And they're also focusing on what can we fix exactly. for the future as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's what I like. Exactly. I like that. And I think it makes... Exactly. It makes things a little bit easier. I think, it makes it better. Go back, low key. It makes yeah. it better because the thing is, we need to remember that we've incurred a lot of debt. Mm -hmm. So mm. from NDC, things. So <laughs> please, I didn't say that. <laughs> it was then. <laughs> but things need to be things need to be sorted in order to move forward. Whereas before, it's like, okay, you owe me money. I owe you money, yeah? I'm going to pay you, but I'm going to take money from um, Irene and yeah. come and pay you. China. But I can't pay you all of it, so I still owe you money, but now I owe Irene money. Yeah. And it doesn't make sense. Yeah. It's okay, cool. How am I going to sort you out without having to take money from... Okay, what do I have at hand? What talents do I have? Mm. And that's what, that's what the current um, government is doing. What talents does the country have? Yeah. How can we stop the country from going somewhere to borrow mm. when we have the resources? We right. really do have Let's the resources. Let's use the resources we that we have now to make us better. Mm. And that's what they're doing. And I feel like in order for anyone to vote, just listen and look at what is being done. Understand it. Me, until I've made my like research, 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 I won't really yeah. go and be like, yeah, vote for this person or vote yeah. for this one. But at the moment, it's just... Who's doing what? what who has see? lived up? Who has lived up to the expectations? Mm -hmm. Who has who has brought more? Mm -hmm. Even if yes, my family votes for this person. Think think with your yeah. brain. Yeah. You know? It's very regional as well. In all yeah. I, exactly, I support, just gone. I've noticed the north and the south. There's a very big divide. Yeah. Very, very big strange. divide. Yeah, it's even it's, biblical. It's yeah, <laughs> even it's, Game of Thrones. Yeah, no, no, literally. But Game of Thrones biblical. No, no like, like the, the divide. The divide. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 No Bible. Um, but why that actually is is because everything is concentrated in the south. So education, like everything, resources, it's always, it's the always at the south. Like yeah. in the north, it's harder to get things up there. Yeah. They don't really have the best climate. So like things like farming doesn't always do the best there. Okay. Education, I mean, they have very much a, um, a Muslim population up there and they obviously don't necessarily believe in education that much. Obviously times are changing, okay. but they don't necessarily feel like girls should go to school and they don't really see the value of education, but instead they should become a farmer and do things with their hand. So when people have that mindset, it's hard for you guys to, 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 to so that's why there's such a complete divide like literally halfway through the country you get two different vibes yeah. because people it, the education doesn't travel all the way up there and yeah. people don't usually go all the way up there it's up to politicians to really be like to how are we going to pull the north to get involved yeah. with what we're doing because some people don't really care I've seen Nana make some effort to kind of Go. Hey, I said Nana. Hey, I've seen Ma Nana. Honorable President, please. What's his oh, name? Nana. 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 Hey, sister. I just leave me. Nana. Oh, I'm a brother <laughs> like Damien, please. But yes, our Honorable President, he has made effort to, you know, go up north and try to bridge the gap. Yeah. So I feel like we need to give him four yeah. more so he can do more. Just to see, just yeah. give him a chance. Let him continue, He I needs guess. to. You need eight. In the four years that he's come through, he's I'm not. impressed. He, I'm impressed. You, I thought she said I'm depressed. I'm not, <laughs> not, I'm not, I can never be depressed with Amen. President. Never will I. Not in life in general. <laughs> not in life I do, I do agree. I do, I do he's think well. we need to, yeah. Like, Ghanaians... We the adults we have this thing of we never praise when there's yeah. praise pra like come on uh -huh. they like okay Muhammad created the airport barely uncle, uncle ever <laughs> it was pretty let's give him it is a nice airport let's very let's nice. give the Nana could have done that though. Let me finish before you come and interrupt. Sorry. Too sure to him. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, if someone does something good, let's just give them the praise. Them. Yeah. However, let's just not lose sight of the bigger picture. Yeah. We're just yeah. trying to... The thing is, we keep saying, oh, um, yeah, let's go out, let's get the education and bring it back home. But then the people that are trying, we don't necessarily give them the chance mm. because we're just too critical. God, I think, yeah. hey, Ghanaian people can insult. Mm. Ah, every I'm little really thing. It's they were insult. I could never be a celebrity in Ghana. I can do it. If you insult me, I like it. No, mm. it's the pain. <laughs> My own thing. What have I done to you? You have to have that affair <laughs> adult attitude. Yeah. Oh. Even when they cuss her up and down, she's just like, I don't care. No, yeah. it's just, it's just, oh, <laughs> God, it's, even it's when enough. you're doing good, it's like the story of my grandma. Yeah. Even when you're doing, oh, okay, then you turn around, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. It's like, just give praise where praise is due. Yeah. Like, we don't have a lot of 
opportunities mm. in the sense of a lot of people looking to improve the country as a on a bigger scale mm. so if people are doing it mm. just acknowledge it and just respect it and just support it yeah we call ourselves community but when it comes to like businesses and other stuff like sometimes it's not very easy it's to support yeah. like it's really bad yeah. like just give him the praise give mm -hmm. each party is like okay why are you okay let's move yeah. on like praise before you criticize yeah. i believe i believe okay. if you're going to give someone a feedback mm -hmm. start with the good mm. End okay. with the bad or oh. sandwich it. Yeah, <laughs> perfectly so that they don't. Mom did good. Okay, he did. He, he tried. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> he tried. Okay, <laughs> he did his part. Okay, he did his part. Okay, Nana is doing his part. I feel like currently, with, with everything that he's done, he needs to continue. Mm. Yeah. That's how I feel personally. So make sure like, let's just just, yeah. just give him. He's been fighting for a long time. Yeah, he's got it, and he's he's, he's proved himself. Well. He's proved himself. So let it continue for a bit, yeah. and let's see how it goes. I hear you. But on the other hand, I want to know. So obviously, I'm on Twitter a lot. You know, I already know I'm a Twitter girl. I'll be on there. Okay. Um, okay. I follow a lot of guy names. Yeah. Like a, a lot of young guy names mm -hmm. um, on the TL, and I see a lot of like, it's a quite a balanced. You know, there are a lot of people that want to back NDC, a lot of people want to back um, MPP. Mm -hmm. And I just want to know, like, obviously, from what I listen to, when I hear my dad's radio, my grandparents, like, it's very aggressive tree being spoken. Mm -hmm. So I don't fully know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know there's elections. I don't know who's, like, saying what. All I hear is... It's because they're just insulting each other. Eh? We yeah. need more, like, obviously, we're here, so we can't really do it as in-depth as they can have in the yeah. We need more young people so on that, air yeah. just bringing forth what's going on, like, yeah. the current affairs, so people like us, who also speak the gentle kind of tree, mm -hmm. yeah. can take it in and learn, because yeah. that will then bridge the gap. Yes. Because see how, like, Nigerians, for example, the NSARS movement... Mm. That was all from social media. Yeah. yeah. That was all from social media. And if it wasn't for them recording what's going on, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have known anything else. There's, you know, Cameroon is in a crisis. Mm -hmm. Zimbabwe. Congo. Sudan shut down their network. Remember, they yeah. ever with the Blue Avies. And it's like, yeah. if, if they had done that for Nigeria, we would not know. And see how they yeah. turned around and said, this is what's going on. They, yeah. The news people were saying, oh, it's fake news. Yeah. This is what, not, this didn't happen. Mm -hmm. But we saw it with our own eyes. Yeah. So we need more, I think, young people. Obviously, it's not as dire as that in terms of, like, violence and stuff. Yeah. But we need more of our own age mates speaking and having educating platforms us. and educating us as well to help us to... Because, you know, the diaspora, you know, they call us in it, in it, girls and boys yeah. and stuff. But we do want to learn. We <laughs> yeah. do want to... We love them. We want to be together mm -hmm. yeah and without that small something mm. i think it, that that just creates a bigger rift yeah i no, agree i was no. actually going to say it do you guys think that young people should be a lot more invested in guardian politics and it's true i do agree yeah. the only way we can actually do that is if you know the young people over there it's bringing us in because it's hard yeah. for us to understand from yeah. the radios yeah. it's hard when they're speaking that hard tree it's hard for me to understand and yeah. i do want to be invested and there's only it's so much the tree is full of insults <laughs> that's why you don't understand it <laughs> insults and it's like up and they go round and round in circles about topics Hell's like, it? Not... <laughs> oh, that's all i hear Hell's it? It's like, oh, okay <laughs> by the time you finish you've got a headache yeah, yeah. they go over and you're like oh, I'm over to you. I'm here. Yeah, like, they just sound like the scream? uncles at the back of the whole oh, party. just Literally. screaming. Like, I want to hear people like us, like debate. If you're going to speak to you, whatever. Politi politi but you then, in saying that, do you think the reason why people don't don't the younger ones don't get involved is because of fear of being? You don't even know what you are talking about. If it, if I, I it is, they, I think they should get over. I can't lie. I think no, but sometimes bit. it's like listen, guardian insults is very painful. Like, <laughs> you it, no, no, no. Sometimes they're hints, and you're like, oh, oh, I felt just, that. Yeah, it went deep. Yeah. Like so, and the adults know these tricks. So mm. I guess that's what everyone's just like. No, I'm not gonna put myself in a situation where you're gonna make me insult you or yeah. be disrespectful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they just stay away. So I think we need to move it away from them, mm. not do it with them. Okay. In well, that sense, because the thing is. Ghanaian adults have this thing of, oh yeah, Kola, you don't know anything. Yeah. You're a child, you don't know anything. Mm -hmm. And we need to, because we know, we know a bit. We know yeah. what we're talking about. If we know, if we don't we know it, we won't talk about it. Yeah. Exactly. If we don't know, we won't talk about it. Mm -hmm. We know why we're saying what we're saying. So why don't we just do our own, educate our own, mm. charity begins at home. If we feel mm. the youth is the home, 
let's educate ourselves away from them okay. so that when it comes to time we're just like okay cool so then when you're talking and then bringing you down mm. you wouldn't even feel no way because yeah. you know what you're talking about so it's yeah. like okay uncle you can say all you want yeah and the thing is majority of the time when they know that you're right they're just like oh you don't know what you're talking about yeah. and they'll go off but when you they know they can get you yeah that's when they just butt heads with yeah. you they're just like Ugh. i get you so i feel we need to do it away from them because yeah. they are stuck in their ways yeah. mm -hmm. stuck they're very because... stuck in their ways really very oh because they feel like that's how discussions are yeah and they're not angry yeah they're, they're really not angry no just even passion crown <laughs> they are not <laughs> <laughs> they're not angry it's just they feel that's the tradition yeah like if you're talking about politics you have to insult somebody mm -hmm. you have to be who who but so we just need to do it away from them and just be like, okay, cool. What's going on? What's, what's up? What's happened? How is it feeling? Because the thing is, we're from outside, so we don't know how they feel inside. Mm -hmm. But exactly. from what we've seen on social media, no one's complaining about the four years. The CDs hasn't dropped mm, in the last yeah. four years. But people that are supporting other parties that haven't ah, done that, we have been they don't see that. For, we don't, they don't know. understand that. And I think it's really unfair. And I think they also need to be a lot more educated themselves when it comes yeah. to policies because I don't think people really put the policies side by side back home. And this is because what not I everyone's saying. educated. We have to still remember we don't always, we don't have a very high It's not even an education level. battle. They follow it based on, oh, me, my families have followed NBC yeah. all my life. So me too, I'm following it. It's, but what, they, has, no what one, has it got you? No one listens to the policies. Yeah. When you think about it, they don't listen to the policies because if they them? did, online, online but you there's always the there. Internet. Exactly. Dude, like no, but even in a small town, where are you get access. To no, the but even at the rallies, they let the policies oh, yeah, be known, did, yeah. but they don't listen. They yeah. go for sure. Mm. They go for the music. Yeah. Like environment and exactly. Exactly. And why it's important for even young Ghanaians back home to get involved because. This is how you're going to transform people's mindset exactly. and just our knowledge generally. If Definitely. they were a lot more invested, like how young people here are invested in politics, mm -hmm. it could actually change like how we perceive things. I've started to notice that there's a group of like young people in Ghana who mm -hmm. have started to like be very out there with their political views. And because mm -hmm. they're like young and flying, they've got really big followings. Okay. They have parents who are political leaders or oh. like have influence they you know they so say that's a things. bit biased now it is biased but they're doing something about it ndc yeah. you guys got young people too and one of the um what's that fantana girl her mom i don't know if you guys have heard her she's a rapper fantana. rapper fantana Possibly. her mom is part of ndc like you could be doing the same thing use your platform to support your mom i've seen her post like her stuff cool so who's got kennedy mpp for for sure really? but I, see, I mpp girl sorry okay. and then i've seen like people like um have you guys heard of kennedy Japong? Mm -hmm. yeah he's like a really popular one he knows how to harness social media he's and like he's, he's, he's always shouting uncle the please i didn't say but, he's, <laughs> <laughs> but he's good vibes i like his vibes like he's always no, doing the most but i i like his vibes and I, I see his son like supporting him like he has a junior no, he I, supports I him don't, he's with him his. i just don't like the insults i feel I like he's your adult uncle is he a member of parliament yeah uh, yeah, okay. it's, is, it's that uncle the, that... He has a seat. He's not my uncle, sir! He is, but I don't know what he... <laughs> he like, has a seat. Like, he, has, he has a seat and I don't think he's going to move. Like, he has, like, no, his area No, that's fine. Lock. I just don't like the insults. I just feel like... I feel you. Could we become members of parliament there? Yeah. I actually wanted to ask the president that at... Um, he came to UC... No. What president? LSE. President of Ghana. He came to LSE and Current I went to... Current president yes. or the old one? Okay. He came... 2018 to mm. LSE for the African summit and we had the opportunity to go into like a private room where mm. he literally just spoke to us for a little bit and people were asking questions and the one question I wanted to ask I didn't get to ask was like do you feel like us lot would be able to not only vote but have a seat in parliament and be able to have because I think it was a country Ivory Coast where you're mm. able to even though you wasn't born there oh no they're doing that to now have seats so it would be good if we could have like a diasporan seat. I know there's one person called Jake Bediako. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. Yeah. He's like the youth. Yeah, he's like a I young have, yeah. um, officer. He works in the diaspora affair yeah. office. So yeah. he's someone that, um, I think he was born in, in Ghana, Ghana, but he's, he's the diaspora he's, affairs office. What's his name? You, Jake, um, Jake Bediako. Bediako. Is he only lots of buildings? No, he's a young no, guy. No, no. Oh, he's I know who you think about. No, it's not no. them. No. He's a young guy. He's like probably he's, under 30. I think health. He's with the health. Some, yeah, but no, he's yeah, not with health. He's literally just his whole purpose is just to be the youth, youth. diaspora. Enough. So, literally, all the cool events that happen in Ghana or just like mm. youth politics, trying to engage people yeah. from outside of Ghana, he's in charge of that. And mm. he obviously reports to the director of the office, which yeah. is a very nice man. No, but they did also. say that they did say that they are in support with mm. of people moving down. Mm. Um, so, 
us lot that we want to move down there mm. and make businesses they are in support of it and they have shown that they are in support of it mm. and they i think there's something that they've recently um um introduced about diasporans coming to vote mm. and yeah they should they have yeah that they even have. leads us on to the next topic about dual citizenship yeah. um do you think it should just be diasporans that have a Ghanaian passport that should be able to vote or is it all of us as long as our parents are Ghanaian we should be able to go in and vote wait hold on what counts as Ghanaian because in okay, no, go this is the same yeah. like how we are no because it, when you apply because for a Ghanaian passport you said somebody if you're born there so does it mean that if a white person is born in Ghana are they Ghanaian I mean, it depends if how you're born and bred there. You if you're born in Ghana, you see uncles that are white and they speak more like yeah. Yeah. Than, you're no, still white. No, you ain't like, born in. No, no, but that's like us saying that because we're born here, we're not British. Exactly. Are you British? I, I no, don't claim me. If the queen but, says go home home today, I will home. go. I will go, go to my Ghana. Where are you going? You want to tell them that you're here? You're born and raised here. I hear you, but citizenship is one of them things where it can either be. It depends on the individual. It can either be whether you're born in the country and you want to claim that country, or you're taking your heritage, which is where your family are from. So a lot of people around the world are mixed heritage because uh-huh. where they're born is different to where their heritage is from or their heritage is, you know? I'm going to play the devil's advocate and mm-hmm. say, okay, if a white person comes and goes, yeah, I was born in Ghana and I want to vote, mm-hmm. I want to, I want the right to vote in Ghanaian affairs, will you allow it? I think Considering it, everything that we as a nation and as a continent have been through. This is what I was going to even say, is that this is such an easy card to play as a black person. Mm. Because if that person, let's say that guy, he was born and bred in Ghana, and sorry to, excuse me to say, <laughs> there are plenty of uncles that don't know anything about politics. Mm. Are you going to now, just because he's white, you're going to take away his vote when he, when his vote might tip the scale? Mm. That's a, that's a, I'm devil advocating you, a devil advocate. Yeah, <laughs> no, I get that, but you it's know like, what I, mean? I feel like with us, it's like, like when the SARS movement was going on, there was a petition going around of, Less the sanctions. For, no, for the UK government to get involved in this. Yeah, yeah I didn't think that was. Why necessary. do we? Why do we keep going so. back to so the from, from the, the problem? Yeah. yeah. Where we got sick is where we keep going yeah. back yeah. to yeah. get side, sicker. Though, we know that what we meant was someone like us who was born on this side. That's why I wanted us. I wanted yeah. us to clarify because yeah. we, know, we mean us. That are born oh, actually no, I actually also just feel like um, people who have because you know when you're applying for a Ghanaian passport it says mm. either your parents should have um, at least half they have to be at least yeah, half Ghanaian, half Ghanaian so if, yeah. you're Ghan- if you have a mixed race parent yeah, and a white parent you. you can still apply for Ghanaian citizenship so yeah. to everyone else that person looks white mm. so if they ha- now get a Ghanaian passport and they want to go to Ghana and vote it shouldn't be a matter of oh you're oh, white no, you if you're, no 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 if you're mixed you're still, you're, you're, you're still going in. Brunil, you're going in. I mean, white whites. White whites. Pure. Whites. Pure mm. time. No, I think... Not mixed race like me, but pure time. <laughs> <laughs> I think it should be... I think it should be allowed, like, provided the person does the research. Mm. Yeah. Because what I wouldn't want is for people just voting again, because... Even myself, I'm, I would say I'm MPP only because that's all I know. Yeah. In my grandma's house in Amsterdam, there are posters from Family, 2012. Family, you see? Ancestral As in calendars politics. from 2012. Mm. JJ, as in when I was a child, I strongly and firmly believed that... Um, JJ was your, cousin, John, your yes, uncle? No, my grandfather. Yeah. I believe, <laughs> your great great or just grand? That John Kufo was my, was my oh, grandfather. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I had dreams that I mean him was sitting on a swing. <laughs> and I would tell my grandparents, like, how's grandpa? Yes, I believed it. And it's because I grew up in that in that, in, my, in their house. Every year we'd go back, see the calendar. Hi, granddad. Like, do you know what I mean? So I'm... <laughs> Hi, granddad. There's a picture in the house. With my, I'm like a small girl. My, I'm like maybe five. The wearing a slip. Oh. And I have my little MPP scarf on. Oh. I've been groomed to yeah. this, to this And this is what I'm saying, that it's passed on. Exactly. It's now, I'm someone on. on this side of the world. I don't know the policies like that. But yeah. because yeah. I know my grandma has said that we're MPP, if I'm going to... I can, like, if you give me the right to vote, I'm going to vote for that. MPP without so, knowledge. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, how does that... But how would that work in Ghana's favour? Mm, exactly. Okay. And that's what we need the research. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. I hear that. Exactly. I hear that. that makes it's just sense. ancestral. I, I just feel like it's just passed on. It's, oh, my mother is MPP, so I'm going to be MPP. It's not, I mean, oh, why am I MPP? Yeah. What is MPP done for us? And then it's like, don't talk about it. Yeah. That was then. What has happened in the in last now. few years? 
Who, what are they bringing to the table? Are you no, I get it. I'm not nobody. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not nobody. I just, I just want a better Ghana. Yeah. So yeah. it's who's going to improve us? Who's going yeah. to give us a better future? Yeah. Who's going to make it easy for me to bring my child to Ghana and be safe and yeah. know that my child is safe? Yeah. And who's going to make it possible for me to build businesses in Ghana and not make the same mistakes as my parents yeah. did? I don't want to be repeating what their issue yeah, is. Yeah, do you get yeah. what I mean? I, I don't want to be following blindly. I yeah. want to, like, come on, we're born in the, we're born and raised in the UK and we're, mm -hmm. born, we're raised upon, you need to, evidence. Yeah. Point evidence explain it. Does yeah. it make sense? If it doesn't make sense, what research is there to back it? Mm. Okay, in Nana's case, we have the last four years to mm. prove that he's done something good to support the country. Mm. So that makes it easy for you to be like, all right, cool, I know he's a man of his word, mm. so I don't mind voting for him. Whereas in the other, if you were to compare, do you get what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, just use your senses, make it <laughs> add up. There's always going to be the votes that are based on, you know, your family. Every, everywhere around the world, it's yeah, always going to be like, my true. parents were Democrats, I'm a Democrat. Exactly. My parents were, there's always going to be those votes. But there are a few people who are like the swing voters that really do think it depends on what it is. That, At that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're always going to have, I mean, that's how the parties get into power anyway. Yeah. You need a stronghold, mm -hmm. but it's the balance. The people that tip the scales, that really matter. Yeah. So if there's people that are listening to the policies, exactly. that's who we need to focus on because exactly. they are the ones that can that change the world. Exactly. You're it really needs to be like a test of like where you have to answer a set amount of questions. Before you vote. Who achieved this <laughs> in which year? It's true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you pass the test, you can vote. Imagine. No, nah, man. Test, the right vote. to vote is, is everybody's right. It's a human right. right. No, so you, have to, you must pass the test. <laughs> Who was the president in 2018? No, that's not ever. No, 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 America, they're the ones that have problems with their presidential yeah. issue. They um, need to do that. Because a lot of people are uneducated out there, and that's exactly. why they're president. Which one was the war criminal out of the four? Who was the war criminal? Who was yeah. the one that was saying they should kill children? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Literally. And it's just like little stuff like that, and it's like we take for granted. So it's like, just listen mm -hmm. to what, just listen and understand what you're voting for. yeah i mean because... here one thing they did really i really liked mm -hmm. was they did like quizzes yeah whose, whose party are you more fitting to that makes yeah. sense oh like, yeah, yeah i yeah. really like that because yeah. for me i know there was labor i know there's conservatives but mm -hmm. there are a bunch of, of others i wanted to know who who's saying what and quick. who's gonna benefit I just, you i can't remember to be reading this all manifesto yeah mm. Let me do this quiz. Okay, you're more... Oh, I was actually Green Party. Which is first Green Party. No, as in, that's where I ended that's up after ended doing up. the quiz. Oh, I'm yeah. very environmental. So I care about yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, it, it was nice to do that. And it's like, okay, this is your percentages. You're, you're this percentage of this party. Da, 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 da. And it's like, okay, I know this is based on my own thinking. It's not based yeah. on what they're telling me they can do. Mm. It's based on what I believe in and how they align with my beliefs. Mm. I think we need to adopt stuff like that. Exactly. Because then we steer away from the whole my Ancest mom, ancestral yeah. politics. Mm. And then we come, it becomes more personalised yeah. and you know why you're doing it at that yeah. point. Definitely. I do agree. I, I do agree. agree. So there are two MPPs. And other. I'm going to give you other because you're and cool. And cool. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, we'll move on to our next topic then. Um, what we're going to discuss next is um, what are your favourite Ghanaian food? Mm. Ghanaian food. How do you feel about it? Mm. <laughs> what do you like to eat? She feels very... Mm. <laughs> do you know what? I don't know how to even... Because... Just <laughs> breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay. Take a break. Take okay. a break. Breathe in and out. <laughs> in... <laughs> And out now go okay. <laughs> I'll start with soup. My favorite soup of all time is Aben Coin. Yes, that's my girl yes. on Twitter. Sometimes I change my name to Aben Coin Babe. Oh, wow, mm -hmm. I love it. You love it. I want to do the Dumu mushrooms. Oh. That's like, I had it in Ghana. Okay. I've never forgotten it. Uh, wow. You know I can eat as I've been without any meat if there's yeah. no more mushrooms in there. Okay. Oh, I love it. Oh, yes, okay. Make my nails orange. Okay. <laughs> yes. We love it. I love it with a um. Abitia. Oh. I had it on Christmas Day which one day. I slept in church. Like no, Abitia, which one is Abitia again? Same as Kunkunti, face the wall. Oh, I don't yeah. like Kunkunti. I ate it Christmas Day. I was sleeping in church that day. <laughs> Shit. And then, what was that? I like Bangkun Okuru. When there's okay. crab inside. Oh, yeah, I like crab. What's the it's tree fish. name for crab? Koto. Oh, yeah. 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 And then, what again? I like... Yeah, I'm in trophy, like the small oh, that's one, my plantain, mm. you know, but 
It seems that everything is your food. food. No, 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 it's not. I, I have a bank really limited okay. Ghanaian really? menu, you know. Like, I'm so, so It surprises me all the time because I don't actually like a lot of Ghanaian food. Like, I don't like. Thank you. Refresh your Yeah, Go back and refresh. All the jewel food, I don't like. The only thing I like is fufu. Really? No, wait. Fufu. Well, wait. I'm back Before to the food I don't like. I mean, wait. Be short. Before we continue, refresh your rephrasing. Huh? What is rephrasing? You said you don't like a lot of Ghanaian food. Rephrase it. No. Oh. <laughs> because people like, will use it to insult us. How do you like chicken wings? I don't. No, that's not they're supposed to be. <laughs> what it is is that I do like Ghanaian food. Yeah, uh -huh. Some Speak of it is there. Don't bad. Yeah, yeah, but some of it is difficult for me. And I think that's the, the hey, diaspora energy. Are you explaining? Okay. Some of it is difficult that's for me. That's what I'm saying. It's the, it's the <laughs> British me. Honestly, guys, I don't know what happened. Because when I was a young child, I used to really like Banku really? Diego. I don't know what happened. I don't know what switched. But now... I guess maybe now when I I can what? try it. No, she became yeah. Bruni. I didn't become Bruni. Nothing, <laughs> nothing. nothing about me is Bruni. Nothing. Bruni. Nothing about me is Bruni. I'm not a Bruni. All right. Literally snails. I can't see. Oh, we love it. We love it. So sick. You don't it's the three things I you don't cannot. Smell. I will not. <gasps> and it, what, how do you I say cry? Yeah, my mum would make it. it. Yeah, oh, I love snails. Snails, Kosi and Akranti are the three things I that I really won't do. Akranti, you don't like snails? I cannot. Oh, God, I you're missing not. out. I shall they not. You don't like, they're like Akranti. Akranti is so scary. When I'm on the stick like this. Yes, that's exactly what we Oh, no, no, no. That's exactly <laughs> honestly my parents. Oh no, I can't tell you. I was thinking of Nanny. <laughs> you have to think that Kantia is actually roadkill. It's and then I was thinking People, of Nanny. There's not things that they find in the forest no, and it's not too bad. <laughs> It can be anything. That's the thing. It can be anything. The bush is not too bad. It can be anything, and they're buying it. Literally, how do they look again? I can't remember. Ha! They had it in the car in the boot when it was in um a square. And they wanted to take me to a Bodmasse with the road meat in yeah. the back of the car. What I said, Mom, you, you talk to the you road meat. You, you will turn the rats to a Atonzi. You will drive to Atonzi. You put it <laughs> I can't and go. And collect me. Because I'm not driving with this thing behind me. No, we have to drive. But, boy, but my parents will call me. We need to be driving from the road from our hometown all the way down to Accra. They will see somebody. Oh, let's stop. Uh -huh. But you know Which you've one is eaten a Kranti before. Oh, like, yeah. no. Maybe as a kid, but as an adult, well, you know, no, I don't even eat fufu in Ghana, you know. It's only recently, last year, that I started to eat fufu in Ghana because I didn't like and the... the I didn't like it was cold. Mm. I didn't like that when... Yeah, well, oh, I, I, I like pounding, but I just... I don't like fufu. I fufur. love the plantain. Oh, no, the I reason why I don't like fufu is growing up... You yeah. eat it. Uh, no, my, my family... Eat fufu at the time. Every yeah. day. Yeah. I don't, in my house. You don't get tired. Yeah. Yeah. Every day. You have fufu. Every day. Yeah. 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 Monday, the soup is nice and juicy too. Wednesday, fufu. Medi. And the thing is, yeah. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yes. The thing is, the mako is so plenty. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Like and it's you're eating it, you're like, mommy. And then I do run it. And it's like, oh my god, please let me take a break. So then, so then. When it was just me and my aunties, I said, mm -mm, it's okay, no don't feed me, I'll mm. eat it. Yeah. Wow. I'll eat it, because it was too much. Yeah, hey, we eat for Monday, every day Monday, Tuesday. Hey, when yeah. they're having every parties, day. when they're having parties, it's, hey, you better fufu no abba. It's not every day. Yeah. yeah. Take for a me, break. I recently learned fufu is for Sundays. I was like, you can't Yeah, exactly. I eat fufu at my house on Sunday. Once a week. Just once. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. Oh, every it's day. It's so heavy every single day. Oh, that's why yeah, 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 yeah. That's a very <laughs> unfortunate lifestyle to be living. No, no, no it's too much. much. Once it's a week. Much. We usually have, if we have it on Sunday, it's always Sunday dinner for, for us mm. in our house. But on Monday, if there's some soup, we'll finish it as well. If there's some on Tuesday, if you want. But with me, I even stopped eating fufu like in the past few years. I just drink. Soup. Really? Mine it's is sorry, Madame Bougie. No, it's a cemetery. I need to become a serious thing. I'm working on my finger. I'm watching my finger. That's what I'm doing. I need to watch my finger. <laughs> I can't. I need to. So, yeah, like, I'll eat honestly, so I love soup, but it's just like the fufu sometimes can be too heavy. I need that. It's the English fufu. Remember, I don't like pounded fufu. You know, we make it on the stove. The, you can have a deep meat fufu, or some Ghanaians do like the mashed potato and farina. Oh, yeah. oh they do the meat fufu. My mum does the meat fufu mixed with plantain. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so which is. Took some my mum, when we was coming, she chopped up all the plantain, she dried Sweet, it, yeah. took it to the grinder somewhere, yeah. and just yeah. bags. That fufu is sweet. Yeah. Oh, my day. They have a meal. Yeah, Santini. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> she is, because I remember my heart just was like, wow, you guys grind your stuff. Listen. Yourself. No, it was so thanks. cool. I just watched him like, wow. I'm, I'm not a fifth person. How do you feel oh. about green plantain, boiled green plantain? Oh, no. I love it. Oh, okay, yes, let's, let me talk about my favourite foods, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like ampissier. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Ampissier. Well, yeah, I do. Yeah, Only the boiled, yeah. We mix okay. it. Mix, make, mm-hmm. Mix the race. Mm-hmm. Mix the race. Mm-hmm. It's nice like that. With <laughs> the contour briaya. That's my favourite thing. With the oil on top. Not the Kobe Nini. Cristiano. Oh, with the paya. That's a pear. Paya. <laughs> you buy it and you put it on the side and we are eating it the circle length. Look, and you know you can hear it so Oh my ah! god, stop it. And the one that they use the momone to treat the oh, I love side that. And you, oh, oh my we god, love a bit of momone. Stop, stop it. Oh, that oh one. God. I like omoto. Oh yes. yes. With okay. the, not just the omoto that light soup. With the no, 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 soup. Eh? peanut soup. Peanut Who soup. eats omoto with light soup? I do. Well, I love a peanut soup. If there's light soup, I'll eat it with You're that You're my ah. I eat it with a ben kwai. I eat it with hey, peanut soup. So you can eat omoto with a ben kwai. Yeah, not the ben kwai. Every soup will get swallowed. Don't do that again. I will do my it. Dear, you have been banned from it. eating omoto. I will not. Omoto <laughs> with, the peanut, with, the, with the peanut soup and the beans and the stew. I like the beans in Ghana. I've not had that. I don't know oh, Ghana that had you're it. missing now. That's with the stew enough. on top. Eh? You are missing now. I don't like when they put stew on top. Why are you putting you, stew on mutu? You have not tasted the good eat. ones. Only That's how it's in Ghana that I saw that. That is exotic omutu. <laughs> okay. Exotic omutu. Omutu. Okay. No. Then... We like we like the 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 fried stuff, you know, oh, yeah. like yeah. the kokoyachi, you know, yeah, yeah. the broad the yeah. bayre. No, a chomok, guys. Oh what? my god, I taste it. The sweet that? potatoes. Oh, oh. oh my god, a chomok. And no. oh my god, another one that I loved it was the um, coco yam, fried oh. coco yam. <gasps> That was so uh, yeah, nice. Yeah, and, really nice. And I like and, the, the and naturals, the nuts nat- bunching. Nice. Yeah. Uh-huh. I like I like the natural stuff. Yeah. 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 Do you, there's um abodo. Do you know what abodo is? No. That's what I'm missing now. This is a real girl. One one thousand. Oh my god. This is a real girl. <laughs> girl. We have no clue what she's talking Let about. Me, okay. Need to educate us. Nat- so it's I don't know what's made that up for. But I like benko as well. I like yeah. benko and but I don't like okra stew. I don't really? like stew. Me too. I like okra stew. Mm. Okra stew. Okay, do you mean when you say soup, do you mean what they eat with TZ, for example? That the was proper. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah no, I mean, the word, it's, you have to kind of, a little bit, you have to bite it. Small. No, 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 yeah. I like the stew. So there's okra, okra stew when is made as a stew. Okra soup is then quang. I think I know what you mean. Yeah, I like stew. I don't like the soup. I don't know why. It's just the preference. I feel that the okra stew is sweeter. I feel the stew is sweeter. I think sweet. I know what you mean. Menum, yeah, menum, yeah, there's always assorted meats in there. Me and Fantini, I like the, you know, the succulentness of the succulents. When you're eating it, it's succoring your yeah, skin. Yeah, terrible. So, I like it. I like, I've got sweet tooth. So. Yeah. And I like yeah. Fante Fante. Have you, guys, you're missing out. I like Red Red as well. Oh, red, red, I red, only red. learned how to eat beans that like two cocoa. years ago. Beans and cocoa. What? Yeah, because I never used to like beans and cocoa. I would always have the cocoa, but never the beans. <gasps> the so it wasn't until I went to my grandma's house and my auntie made it, and I tasted I said, oh, so this, this is, is what I'm missing. The Ghana one, they'll even give you the, the one that they one. sell outside. They'll even give you the bottom of the, um, the, the, um, the stew. No, ah. no, no. The oil. Oh, that's even nicer. Oh. It adds some kind of sizzling yeah, to the, the, um, the palm oil. Yeah, the mm. bottom one, oil. not the top one, the bottom one. Okay, the thicker one. Yeah. 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 And growing oh. up, my favorite food of all times was Gary Sookings. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. When I was younger, I liked that a lot. I hated eating it. Mine was like <laughs> green plantain. But I realized when I went to Ghana, like my grandma has plantain outside. Her, so I chopped down the thing myself because hey, I wanted to go to the farm. Farmer. I wanted to farm, but my grandpa wouldn't let me. So they uh-huh. said, "Okay, we have a tree outside. Mm-hmm. Go and cut it. Let's eat it for dinner." Yeah. So I went oh. to cut it. I still have a stain on my pajamas I from the juice. Yeah, oh. but the, it's the, it's so creamy. Yeah. yeah, the green plantain, and then I loved the it. fact that it was there. In this UK, green plantain will take two, three weeks to turn mm-hmm. to normal plantain. In Ghana, it was there for a few days, and it was nice and right. Yeah. And I was like, wow, like the food there is just so organic. natural, organic. Yeah. We were going to Busan Tree. Someone chopped down palm, a palm, um, like a palm, palm tree, or, palm, yeah. 
I don't know what it's called, but yeah, yeah, the seed thing, yeah. fresh. Yeah. And she just gave it to my mum for free, like, oh, Aww. God has blessed us with it, so take it. Yeah. And we get that. And we were peeling it. And I was, my mom's like, this is how it's like. This yeah. is how it actually looks <gasps> like. Guys, do you know what we used to do? So you know the smaller parts of the palm, um, the palm seed? The, the, the the, they have no no the actual seed they have yeah. smaller ones so what me and my cousins would do we put it on a broomstick yeah then we roast it oh, okay. and it tastes so nice guys like, oh, oh, that. no it roasts and it's, we roast it and it just tastes so Ooh, nice wow like it's organic baby nice. here yeah. <laughs> my mom and i had jollof rice out there hey, it was amazing. funeral jollof from bodmasi the village oh, yeah you're yeah, not so impressed sweet. oh okay oh. Yeah, <laughs> <impressed>. <laughs> the village one that's a village really likes that it's organic stuff fire no no stove no fire i don't know you find underneath i said wow stir it again stir it again <laughs> oh, Ghana! I miss oh God, Ghana. I do. No, I food. love. I love how the food is literally so fresh and. This is where I had to correct her. No, but the thing is, oh. Oh, I love sobolo. I really like drinking sobolo. Asana, sobolo, asana. Oh, no, no, asana. Never had sobolo. Have before. you guys tasted um, what's it called? Um, Atadri milk. I haven't. Guys, you're really Atadri. missing out. What Atadri have you been imagine. eating? Where you go? <laughs> Friday, I'm um, fish. Okay, let's talk about desserts. Ghanaian desserts. Men kakele really. That's not dessert. There's Ghanaian dessert. Apart from Enkati cake, what's there? Oh, Jesus. And the toffee. Oh, toffee, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, toffee, there's... Kind of, kind of, um, oh, no, we kind of have... We have it's, it's, what, what's it called? Crambolana. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. We have a tajin milk. We have adun lee. You don't even know that. Which one is that? She's teaching oh, us here today, guys. I know... I need people to let us know if you we have a tajin milk because we have never heard of it. We have milk. mam. We even have egg and pepe. Oh, come on, that one's not good. Egg and pepper, that's a snack. That's appetizer. That's a snack. Is that what Ghanaian? Oh, no, no it's a dessert. dessert. Yeah. No, we have adunle. We have, no, I don't know. It's not, the thing is, anything is can that be dessert. Is that dessert? African thing? Okay. It's not African yeah? thing, it's dessert. dessert. You're not fancy. Dessert. You don't know about it. Yes. That's what you guys are doing. Our mouths are doing it. 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 No, the thing is, we have a shanty palette. We have a very sweet palette. Okay. You will start with the coco, you eat the pufu, and you finish the coco. Like, fried the coco, fried the coco, and add pepper. Yeah. No, but how nuts. No, let's get into it. How's Kelly with late dessert? Because it's sweet. It's peppery. It's still sweet. It's sweet. It's savory. <laughs> and so, that's what we and like. And the peanuts crown a cow. <laughs> Do you know that some of, they've made, um, was it, um, Kelly will ice cream. Oh. You're gonna have a soup. A concept. I didn't even know no, that. Apparently it's that really nice. Like Kelly Willett ice cream. It's spicing you, but then you're cooling down. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's, it's like, it's like, like oh, water, you know. <laughs> it's clarity or something. Yeah. Amuse bouche. That's what they were trying to do. Amuse bouche. Yeah, it's like, clears your palate. You. Oh, wow. Uh, no, a, a clear. Baby, she's, she's a world, she's a culture yeah. woman. So she's a culture baby. We're talking about See, anything. This, is, this, this is why you have to have, listen, Please. best of both worlds, yeah. okay? I'm a Bodmasi baby. I don't know what you're talking about. Bodmasi, they eat those stuff as well. But there's so much food that people don't taste. Yes. I feel like I'm I feel like it. there's really? I feel like there's so much food that you don't taste. Oh. Even there's there's another dish is round. It's like hard and it's round that they use that they have with Kuwait. I forgot the name. But there's so much dishes that people don't really yeah, have. Yeah, we don't and know. Even the guy... breakfast. All you guys know is cocoa or oh, watch on weekend. Oh, oh I love watch watch breakfast. There's watch there's echo me. You don't even know that. These words, words you're saying are not three words, please. <laughs> you don't know that. Tom Brown. Tell me you've had Tom Brown. Is that how My dad has that, no. but I don't ever <gasps> eat it. What is the Tom Brown? Tom Brown is lovely. Tom Brown and how? It's the same color, right? Like no, it's kind Tom of Brown, like no, no, no. Tom Brown is brown. But they're like both grayish. No. Oh, Tom, Tom Brown is gray. Darker. Tom Brown is brown. Okay, so I've had. How's that cooking? How's that cooking? Like cooking is different. Yeah. With Bofro, because Kose is trash. Yeah, I like Bofro. Yes, I said I don't like Kose, I like Bofro. Yes, Kose is trash. Eh, bola. <laughs> Guys, I do. I would like to apologize on the behalf of. No, apologize. I said what she I said. She doesn't mean it. She's talking because it's, it's hard in it's the cold. It's disgusting, man. Okay? My mom tricked me into eating it one time. I felt so offended. Lovely. No, I tried it, but because it doesn't taste nice. It just tastes like oily. Hey, and nice. just it's like, disgusting. Yeah. Oh, God. Is that for when cocoa makes more sense? Guys, is it not sweet? taking you out mm. ever? Oh, we'll take her. Your palate take is her. very bad. My palate is very limited when it comes to Ghanaian food. Oh I can't lie. I'm, I, I'm even embarrassed. Food, like, I don't man. eat guys, enough I need to, Ghanaian okay. food. So the plan was to go to Ghana in December. But obviously, Morris said we can't go again. Mm. And so there's, there's a pandemic anyway, regardless. Next time, <laughs> exactly. Next time we go to Ghana, guys, I need Pito. to... 
Okay. Just don't give me snails. Don't give me coarse. You need and to don't eat. Give me the snails is not like the way you see me. No. Okay. <laughs> Have you had a parfait before? What is that? A parfait. What is the audience? Oh, <laughs> we don't know anything Daisy is saying. Like, she knows every, she's a full Ghanaian menu. Yeah, she's a walk-in menu. Guys, honestly, it doesn't help the fact that poor wait. She's done everything. Even oh, Ghanaian is at home. It's because of COVID, guys. COVID has done this. It's so good. It's sleeping. It's sleeping. I'm on top. You know when your skin falls, I hold top. Your self force, you, you put on me, it's not that, it's Man. okay. But no, honestly, guys, you're missing out. There's so much delicacies in Ghana, but we're very, it's, it's not even the same. It's not the same. It's not the same. No, they actually need to stop ah. eating food. I'm right in my house. We eat it well, in my house. You just, you just have it with different soup. No, 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 my mom's actually pretty good, you know. That's one thing you have it with different soup. Like, she, not that, yeah. like she does body hair, she'll yeah. do, and she'll do banku, and then she'll do mm -hmm. plantain. Recently, she's been doing like, so much like she'd be doing, um, What's this thing called? Ka ka kakro. Kakro, yeah. Yeah, she recently that. tried that. Like, she's very, like, uh, she's an experimental food maker. Yeah, That's I how I it. get it from. Yeah. So I'm very lucky to have her because she, no, like, actually... Kakro is not experimental. No, I know, but as in... She, she tried it's different not things. She tries to stuff. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's not yeah. something that she would do. She used to do it probably back home, and then one day she would wake up and be like, oh, I, I remember this. one day I used to eat this. I'm going to make yeah, it. Yeah, I'm mom. like that as well. So, like, I'm very lucky that we don't eat the same thing yeah, all the yeah, time. Same. And that's how I know about all, like, the, the body and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll be just be eating food. I can't be eating yeah. man, The food. Bible says man cannot live on fufu alone. Oh, yeah. ah. <laughs> Why yes. do you guys want to live on fufu alone? Yes, in Asante 9, I mean, chapter 9, verse 17. It's Thank you. <laughs> I read it. I read it. I read but it. But I think it's just like Fufu is feeling so like is this our go to? But yeah. honestly, like I like that I do have variety in my diet. Like it's literally mm. fried yam and fish, kinke one yeah. day, jollof one day, yeah. wache one day. Like I try a lot of things, but it's just the draw food that I leave to my parents. Like the whole okra stuff. You need to have the stew. Have the stew. No, I don't really it's not like, for me. I, I tried it. I, I think I think me. I tasted TZ when I was younger, and it was too soft. Mm. I like it. It was it too. Really soft, it was too soft like for it. me, so I wasn't. I don't know. I just it just. So, like, recently, I was like, oh, I'm going to try it. I left it in the fridge, but I was like, I can't eat. Have you guys ever had this berry? So, we had it when we went to the chicken. Is it a pink one? It's red. It's kind of long. And when you eat it, it makes everything sweet. I How does it look like? Is it? It's, like, long. It's, like, a long... I don't know how to describe it. But it's this berry. When you eat it, if you, if you eat anything else, it'll make it sweet. It's a, I think the English word for it is miracle berry. Wow. Is it got little, little pockets? Is it long, no. but, like... I don't know how to describe it. It's just a one. It looks like a like a like a bullet shape, I guess. I've never heard it. It's so weird. A long bullet shape. Mm -hmm. I, I always <laughs> confuse the name for Asana, but it's not called Asana. I, have you had Asana? Is that brown? Yeah, and it's no, sweet. No, I've not. I don't think. Because oh, I got offered so sobolo or Asana, I went for sobolo and I, ne I never looked back again. Yeah, I love sobolo. <laughs> it's really nice. Sobolo is amazing. That's okay. really nice. Osana. Like, let me taste. So I sound and gone. Yeah. The meaning is, let me taste. Like, let me, Ooh. yeah, let me taste. Mm. Wow. Asana. Asana. We have learned Asana. a lot of things today. Honestly, we've learned about Just so learn the different. foods, guys. Taste the I'm different foods. I'm working on my Ghanaian palate. Okay. I'll do it. Just no snail. Have snail. No, I can't, yeah. Let me, no. let me, okay. No, we'll Ghanaian snail is not the same as, yeah, for anything, the British snail. On the snail. floor. It's yeah. not, there's not like this big. It's an insect. No, they like this big. Yeah, oh, they scare me. That's what even makes it even scarier. It and it tastes like meat. It's like actual. meaty. <laughs> no, I it's remember meaty. when I was younger, my mum actually brought yeah. some from Dalston and tried to cook it and oh, I literally baby, screamed baby, my baby. head off Fine. and went into hiding because guys, guys are so big snap. and it's amusing. No. So it's not that snail. So how are you going to taste that poor thing? I'm then not. Then we were, <laughs> in a shot and you have to suck it out. Oh, no chance. Absolutely not. Absolutely no Absolutely chance. Absolutely not. That's where I draw the line. Sorry. And they put it in palm, oil, in palm soup. That's the hell? No. <laughs> no. What really did I do want to try? I think it's called Obono. It's a green oh, soup. Oh, that's Nigerian. Hey. Yeah. yeah my, 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 that's Nigerian food. Name. I ain't trying to Nigerian I said the wrong food. soup. Wait. There's a green soup. I know what you're talking about though. Oh no, it's, a green it's um, 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 I know which one you're talking about. It's, um, I don't know what's called. It's a very Ashanti, <laughs> it's very Ashanti. I that's what I see people eat that on Sundays and it always makes me nervous. I know, it's, it's green. green. It's always got snails in it though. That's and big fish, <laughs> but not like tilapia fish, like fish with I love mm. tilapia. I love it. In my house, we, we really eat tilapia a lot. Like, no, but I don't know, week. how can you like, um, 
Kokonte and not like the other thing. Kokonte is very unappealing. It's nice. Yeah, I don't like Kokonte. It's, it's so unappealing. I'm going to browse I love how Ghanaian feet to me doesn't look hey. appealing. Yes, my car, my car. <laughs> hold your tongue. I won't hold it. I, it doesn't look appealing to me. Hey. That's my British eyes. Like, it's the English in me Take that me makes out. me. So I, I have to I like. I she's English. <laughs> Cast them aside. In the food world, a little bit. I'm not going to lie. A little bit. I'm a bit English in the food world. But I actually love so that. So how do you think when you go to Ghana? You're just going to normally oh okay. i eat ghanian food i eat my watch i eat yeah. my yeah, cocoa that, you i eat blindfold blind blind food when we go we blindfold i blindfold you to eat the snails no. i'm <laughs> open i'm open God to tell me <laughs> I'm open to eating more Ghanaian food when yeah. I get to Ghana because I think it tastes better there, yeah. which is how I was able to turn and change my mind. So I'm open to trying, you know, okra try and banku. Guys, and we're going to try. Okay. When we go, when we go next. We'll try. When we go. It's going to be, trust year. me. You don't, I know, I want to go. I'll try everything but snails, kosi, mm. and No, you, uh, we'll do blindfold tasting. Mm -mm. Okay. <laughs> just say mukumen. I'm done. Okay. <laughs> You guys, we're going to just go on about food all day. Okay? We will not stop. So we're just going to end it here. We're going to try our Ghana if we go to Ghana. We and we'll move on from that. Yeah. But thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. We will see you on the next video. See you later. Bye. Bye. At World Remit, we understand what the journey is about, how it can sometimes take a little distance to bring us a little closer together. With ways to save more when you send more, World Remit is here for you, so you can be there for them.